Chapter 3 Parts of a Plant Learning Objective 1 Parts of a Plant 2 Functions of Root 3 Importance of Stem 4 Function of Leaves 5 Variety of Flowers, Fruits, Grains and Seeds Let me answer Plant provides us oxygen but what do they give in return? How can you grow indoor plants? Parts of plants, roots, stem, leaves, flower, fruits, seeds, grain, parts of a plant. Look at the given picture of a plant. It has many parts. Root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit are the parts of a plant. Each one of these parts helps the plant in different ways. Roots. Roots of a plant most grow under the soil. They hold the plant in the soil. They help the plant to take water from the soil. We eat roots of some plants as food. Example, carrot, radish, turnip, etc. Stem. The stem of a plant grows above the soil. It helps to carry water and food to different parts of a plant. Many branches grow on the stem. The stem of many plants are edible. Example, potato, sugarcane, ginger, etc. Leaf. The leaves of a plant grow on the stem or the branches. They make food for the plants. The food helps the plant to grow strong and healthy. The leaves of some plants are eaten as food. Example, spinach, mint, cabbage, etc. Some plants have big leaves while some other plants have small leaves. Big leaves, spinach, cabbage, lotus, banana, small leaves, rose, sunflower, china rose, neem, mint. Flower. Many plants bear flowers. The flowers look colorful and bright. They spread smell around them. They can change it into fruits. Fruit. Many flowers grow into the fruits. Fruits are the edible parts of the plant. These are full of vitamins and minerals. We also get nuts from the ripe fruits. Dry fruits have hard shell. We remove the shell and get the nuts. Facts still know. Potato and ginger grow under the ground, but they are stems, not roots. Brindle and tomato are eaten as vegetables, but actually are fruits of the plants. Let's recall. 1. A plant has several parts. It has roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruit. 2. Each part of a plant helps the part in growing. 3. Many flowers grow into the fruits. 4. Seeds grow into new plants. 5. We eat the roots, stems, flowers, fruits and seeds of some plant. 6. Some edible seeds like wheat, rice, maize, beans and peas are called grains. Word power. Cereals, the grass-like plants which produce grains that can be eaten. Pulses, the plants whose seeds are eaten as grains. Train your brain. Cross-curricular connect. 1. Answer the following questions in short. A. What are cereals? B. What are grains? C. Give two examples of the following. 1. Grains that we eat. 2. Stems that we eat. 3. Roots that we eat. 2. Select the right answer from the bracket and write it in the box. A. Stem is found above, under, the ground. B. Roots are found above under the ground c seeds are present inside a fruit flower d many flowers change into fruits roots e new plants grow from seeds leaves 3 answer the following questions a what are the different parts of a plant b where do roots of a plant grow what is the function of roots C. What is the function of stem? 4. Multiple choice question. A. Which is not the part of a plant? 1. Roots. 2. Stem. 3. Air. 4. Leaves. B. Which is not the edible part of the plants? 1. Roots. 2. Fruit. 3. Flower. 4. Stem. C. Which part of a plant is found under the soil? 1 roots, 2 stem, 3 leaves, 4 flower. D. Which part of a plant is not found above the ground? 
one roots to flower three stem for seed e which part of a plant makes food for the plant one branches to leaf three seed four stem five write answers in one word a i am tall and help to carry food to the various parts who am i b we are green and make food who are we c we grow under the soil and help to carry water from the soil who are we d i am inside the fruit who am i e we are bright and beautiful who are we f what grows into a new plant g what is the main edible part of plant h what have many seeds inside them six match the columns column a column b a rice b sunflower c cabbage d radish one leaf two root three grass for oil activity time one you can do this at home take a cabbage and cut it open are its leaves big ask your mother why it is green what will happen to it when it is kept under the sun for two days why will this happen ask your science teacher about it in the school two collect the different kinds of food grains and keep them in small transparent pouches paste them in your scrapbook hot your mother has cooked palak paneer for you can you tell that what part of the spinach palak plant is used to eat project time take 10 chickpeas soak them in water now put them in a steel tray over a cotton swab add water droplets to the cotton swab daily what do you observe after 5 days report the result to your science teacher